In this video, we're going to look at interest rates in a little bit more detail. In our first example, 1,000 Rand is invested for one year at an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded annually. And we want to calculate the balance in the account after one year. So it's compound interest, so just our normal compound interest formula. Our interest rate is 12%, so we're going to convert that to a decimal of 0, 0,12. And we type that into the calculator and we will get an answer of 1,120 Rand. Nice and easy. Let's try exactly the same example, but this time we are going to compound monthly. So we're still dealing with compound interest, but this time because we're compounding monthly, we are going to take our interest rate and divide by 12 and we're going to take one year and multiply by 12. And if we type that into the calculator, we end up with 1,126 Rand and 83 cents. So we end up with slightly more. And why is that? When we compound it annually, we end up with one amount. But as soon as we compound it monthly, we are earning just a little bit extra interest every single month. So we do end up with slightly more. But I want to know how much am I going to end up with? How much interest am I actually earning? I'm not earning 12% because 12% should give me 1,120, but I'm ending up with slightly more. So to work out how much interest we're actually earning, we're going to take our 1,126 Rand and 83 cents and make that our final amount. And we're going to take our 1,000 Rand, make that our initial deposit, and then we can calculate what interest we're actually earning. So we'll look at that in the next slide. So if we take our answer to the previous question, that will be our A amount, and a thousand rand went into the bank account. First thing we want to get rid of is the thousand rand. So we're going to divide by a thousand rand on the left hand side, and then we're going to subtract one. So the I value I get is 0, 0,12683, and as a percentage, to get a percentage, I will multiply by 100. So I'm actually earning 12,68%. But now the bank quoted me 12%. So the quoted interest rate was 12%. And this is known as our nominal interest rate. And the symbol is I with just a little M in brackets at the top. But I'm actually earning 12,68%. So this is the effective interest rate. So there's a difference. As soon as I compound my interest, I earn a little bit more than what the bank told me I was going to earn. So what they tell me I'm earning is 12%, but what I'm actually earning is just a little bit more. Let's look at another example. I've taken exactly the same interest rate, but I've doubled the amount. So we're going to invest 2,000 Rand, and we're going to invest for two years. And let's see what we will have at the end of two years. So just normal compound interest that we're putting into the account. Now we have been quoted 12%. So our nominal interest rate is 12%. And the second question, let's calculate how much money we will have in the account after two years. So if I'm investing 2,000 Rand, but I'm compounding monthly, I'm going to divide my interest by 12, but multiply my years by 12. And I end up with 2,539 Rand and 47 cents. Now let's calculate how much interest are we actually earning? What is the effective annual interest rate? So now we're going to take 2,539 Rand and 47 cents, and that's going to be our A value. And 2,000 is going to be our P value. And we want to know how much interest are we actually earning? All right. Now, we're not going to divide by 12 and multiply by 12. We've already done that calculation. We want to see what is the actual interest I've earned. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by 2,000. And I end up with um, a fraction. Then we're going to square root both sides so I can get rid of the square. And I end up with the square root of 2,539 Rand and 47 cents divided by 2,000 gives me 1,1268. I need to take 1 across and I end up with 0, 0,1268, which as a percentage is 12,68%. Now, if you compare example 2 and example 3, my interest rate is exactly the same, but I changed the number of years 
and I changed the amount that I was investing, but I still got an answer of 12.68%, which means that the number of years and the amount invested is irrelevant if you want to see what interest rate you are actually earning. If you want to see what interest rate you're actually earning, we only need to look at the interest bracket. So you might be asked to compare nominal and effective interest rates. In other words, they will tell you the bank is quoting you 12%, but how much are you actually earning? You're actually earning 12.68% if you compound monthly. So the formula that you will use is just comparing two interest rates. Now on the right hand side, those M's are the compoundings. So if it's monthly, they will be 12. They will both be 12. They have to match. If it's quarterly, they will both be 4. So the number of years is irrelevant in this calculation. Those M's must match. The M in the brackets is a name only. Remember, the M in the brackets tells me that it's the nominal interest. And the I on the left-hand side is the effective interest. So let's have a look at an example. We want to calculate the effective interest rate, so the one on the left-hand side, that is the same as a nominal interest rate of 13,5% compounded quarterly. So I want to calculate the I on the left, and my 13,5% is being compounded quarterly. So it's happening four times. So I will divide by four, and I multiply by four, the exponent. So the number of years is irrelevant. They haven't even told me the number of years. I don't need to know that. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the right-hand side. And we are going to get a bracket to the power of 4. Then we subtract 1. And I end up with 0, 0,1420. And if I want to express this as a percentage, we're going to multiply it by 100. And I get 14,2%. So what that means is, if the bank tells me I'm going to earn 13,5% interest, but they're going to compound it quarterly, I'm actually going to earn 14,2%. Let's look at one more example. This time we've got an effective annual interest rate of 16,1%, and we want to convert that to a nominal interest rate compounded monthly. In other words, I'm actually going to earn 16,1%. And what should the bank have told me I'm going to earn? So this time we've got the I value, which is going to be 16,1, but we don't know how much was compounded monthly. So the 16,1 we're going to express as a decimal on the left-hand side, and we don't know how much the nominal interest rate is, but we want to know it's compounded monthly, so we're going to divide by 12 and have an exponent of 12. The first thing I want to get rid of is the exponent, so we're going to take the 12th root, of 1,161. And the twelfth root of 1,161 will give me an answer minus 1. Now you don't have to calculate that answer yet. We want to use our calculator as little as possible. So first thing you're going to do is subtract 1 and we end up with 0, 0,01251. But I still have to multiply by 12. And if I multiply by 12, I end up with 0, 0,1502 but I want an interest rate. So my nominal interest rate is 15,02%. In other words, if the bank tells me I'm going to pay, I'm going to earn 15,02%, but they will compound it monthly, I will actually end up earning 16,1%. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe.